In this snippet, I'm going to show you how to completely customize Laravel Jetstream routes, for example, their names, the controllers that they point to, any middleware that you attach to them. And this method is really, really simple, but there's a small caveat that we need to make sure we deal with. Now, let's just pick a route that we want to change first of all. So, for example, the profile page. You might want to change the name of the route. You might want to change any information about this, the controller that it points to. It really doesn't matter what you want to change. The method of doing this is the same. Now, if we head over to our routes file over in routes and web, of course, the only route really is the dashboard, which is what we see when we are authenticated. This is obviously where you just continue to build the rest of your app out. But all of the other routes are actually hidden away within the composer files. So you can find this whether you're using inertia or live wire by just looking for the Jetstream route and then the name of the scaffold that you're using, for example, live wire in my case. So these are all the routes that Jetstream provides. Most of the functionality within Jetstream is with Fortify. If you want to customize Fortify routes, we have another snippet on that as well, which pretty much uses the same method. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the name of user profile. We're not going to do this in this file because this is tucked away within our composer files. We wouldn't want to modify anything about this at all. So we're actually just going to take this and copy and paste it over to our roots. Now that might seem a little bit weird, but let's go ahead and do it and then I'll show you how this all starts to pull together. So let's go over to our roots file and let's create a jetstream.php file out. I'm doing this separate just so these don't get bundled into our main web roots just to keep things nice and tidy. So now what we can do with this is simply require this file in. Now that will work, but it will give us duplicate roots. So we'll fix that up in just a second. So let's do a require once on the current directory and let's go into jetstream.php and pull that in. And that's pretty much copying them roots over so we can start to modify them. So for example, user profile, you might just want that to be called profile. Let's go over and check this out. So let's get rid of the user part of that. And sure enough, this still works. We can still do everything in here that we normally would, because of course this still points to this controller. Although at this point, you could start to modify that. Now don't leave just yet because what we now have is a duplicate route registered. We can still access user profile. And of course, we can come over to the command line, list our routes. We'll basically just see a duplicate of the routes that we've registered. So what we want to do is over in the Jetstream service provider, disable the routes that Jetstream provides by default. So if we just open up the Jetstream class here under Jetstream source and Jetstream.php, we have a method just down here called ignore routes. That sets the registered roots property at the top of here to false, which then allows us to ignore the roots that are registered by default and use the ones that we've copied over. So really easily, what we can now do in register is just say Jetstream, ignore, if I can type, roots, and that's it. Let's go over, hit refresh, and sure enough, this user profile is not found because that's the one that's been registered by Jetstream by default, but profile, which we have now copied over, works. So like I said at the start, you can use this to pretty much do anything now. You can go ahead and change around any of the if statements in here. You can change around the controllers, the names of these, any middleware that's applied. You can pretty much do anything you want now. And this is really useful, for example, if you want to change the terms of service controller or name over, or just have a completely custom controller for what you're building within Jetstream. So a really simple solution to this, but again, really important that we ignore the routes that are registered by default.